born and raised in Simi Valley. My parents moved there a few years before I was born. I have four brothers and sisters. There's five of us total. And I grew up in the all-American household. Mom was able to stay home uh, with all of us kids, drive us to all of our sports. My dad was a fireman. And that's all I knew. And I thought that's what life was. I went into the Marine Corps in 2006. I graduated in 2006 from Simi High. Went straight into the Marine Corps. I did a ride along with my brother when I got home and seeing him do the job really sparked interest in, for me in the fire service again and that's kind of how I went down that route. There's something in me that always wanted to follow my dad's footsteps. I wanted to be a fireman. I, I served my country and then I wanted to serve my community and everything was lining up to be that all-American, you know, upbringing for kids again. I got married and when we thought about having kids, it was easy, here's the plan, I'm gonna become a fireman. You know, we're gonna have kids, you're gonna raise the kids, and I wanted to mirror my parents' life. You know, I, I couldn't be more thankful for the upbringing I had. I wanted to give that to my kids. You know, we'd always talked about possibly moving out of state um, for multiple reasons. One of those reasons being financially. We weren't on top of the economy like we thought we were gonna be able to do with, with a single income family. We had always thought about Texas due to just the love of their country, their community, family oriented. Everything fit what we were looking for with Texas, but we'd never been to Texas. We flew out on a Friday, our plane back was on a Sunday and we signed paperwork for this home on that Sunday within two days. We fell in love with it. Every, every, it has everything we're looking for, for not just us, but for our kids' future. The opportunity out here is endless for young people. They're gonna have opportunities out here that they would never have in California. To grow up, born and raised somewhere and have so much family in one town, and you've grown up and you've all had kids, right? There's nieces, nephews, cousins. To leave that is a big deal, a very big deal, and it's very hard. But we wanted so badly for our kids to have a future that we left all that behind. So my name is Travis Kanabi. Uh, 35 years old, two daughters and a loving wife, all born and raised in Simi Valley. Almost two years ago, we moved out here to New Braunfels, Texas, but I'm still working in California. I'm a fire captain paramedic for a small department in Southern California. So I fly back and forth to commute. We bought this home a couple years ago and we couldn't be more happy with the community we built here. The second we moved here, within two days, we had made 20 friends um, all young families, all young kids, all the same age, all the same interests, and they're all from California. We're in a community in Texas that has more Californians than Texans. I still work in Southern California, living in Texas, I commute. I'm able to organize my schedule to where I fly out here for a certain amount of time. Usually I'll work about six days and I'll be off for about 12 days. It has it's challenges, but overall, the quality of life I'm living here doesn't compare to anything I have there. So in California, one of the first homes me and my wife bought was about 1,500 square feet, and it was a complete fixer-upper. We spent all of our money just purchasing it, and then over the next couple of years, we tore it down to the studs. It had to be all redone. It was a very old home, but we spent every penny we had just to buy it. When we moved out here, not only was the house cheaper, I spent half as much money on this home, which is 3,200 square feet. So it's double the size home for half the price. When we came out to Texas, we looked all over. Where we are now in New Braunfels, this is hill country. It's beautiful rolling hills with oak trees everywhere. It's not what I thought of when I thought of Texas. I thought flat, brown, farms everywhere. This almost reminds me of like a Paso Robles look. It, you know, it's got all the oak and everywhere and rolling hills. It's beautiful. There's lakes everywhere. And everywhere you go out here, people get together outdoors. Yes, there's crazy freezing winters and hot summers, but people enjoy those in different ways. It's just sad because California is so beautiful. You know, it's hard to beat the weather and the beaches, but overall 
the life goal is what you're searching for. It's for your kids' future and your future to thrive and it's just not attainable in California.